here with reaction, Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Uh, that in and of itself is a bombshell that we have whistleblowers. I'd like to hear from them. Uh, are there, uh, I do believe that the vast majority of rank and file are good people. We see the corruption at the highest levels of the DOJ and FBI, don't we? We do, and you know, I'm certainly not questioning the integrity of most uh, members of the FBI and Department of Justice. But that's what Mayor Garland is accusing us of. Again, it's a diversionary tactic on his part. You know, in, in August, the whistleblowers told Chuck Grassley in August of 2020, the FBI developed a scheme to downplay the disparaging uh, information on Hunter Biden to basically deep six it. That exact same month, Senator Grassley and I received unsolicited briefings that we both knew were setups. They told us nothing. We asked at the time, who directed these briefings? Two years later, Sean, we don't know who directed those briefings, and they were set up because nine months later, those briefings were leaked to the New York Times or to the Washington Post to smear me. So this corruption has run deep. It's been running deep since the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Remember the uh, the editing of the James Comey exoneration email, where they changed phrases like "grossly negligent" to "cares uh, extremely careless" to avoid the, the criminal terminology. So. I do not trust uh, the FBI. I don't trust the upper echelons of the Department of Justice. Uh, again, the, the rank and file, those individuals, if you want to see integrity restored to your agencies, you need to come forward. Uh, whistleblower at ronjohnson.senate.gov will maintain your anonymity, but we need to talk to you to restore credibility to your agencies. Chris Ray could have done the FBI the greatest service. He could have cleaned up the mess. He could have stopped the lying. He could have stopped those people that were responsible and held them accountable for spreading lies and misinformation about Trump-Russia collusion. Uh, he could have stopped the people that went ahead with and put forward unverifiable information in a FISA application to ruin Carter Page's life and Donald Trump's life. He hasn't done a thing that I see to clean up the FBI. Does he need to go? Well, he's done worse than that. Under his watch, for example, when the Pfizer report, Michael Horowitz's Pfizer report was issued, there were footnotes that were classified, that were redacted, that contradicted the body. Bill Priestap in the body of the report said the FBI had no knowledge that the Steele dossier was tainted by Russian disinformation. The footnotes said the exact opposite. In October 2016, January 2017, the FBI knew that the Steele dossier was tainted. In March of 2018, the FBI briefed the Senate Intel Committee said that the Steele dossier had integrity. And of course, they allowed the Miller probe to go forward. So this is corruption. We need to go back. We need to re-examine what we already know and put it in light of new information. For example, the scheme in the FBI to downplay uh, what was happening with Hunter. And again, I, I believe at the time I thought it was just a setup to try and destroy me politically. Now I'm starting to think that maybe that briefing was all about trying to take us off the trail, trying to dissuade us from even issuing our report that we issued in September of 2020. Should, should have uh, it affected oh, the election, know. but the news media admitted it or ignored it. We know there's evidence of crimes on Hunter's laptop. Chris Ray's had it for two years. What does that say about equal justice? Not very much to me, but Senator, uh, thank you for being with us. Your race also is pivotal come November, uh, and I know you're going to do well in Wisconsin. Thank you for being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.